What's up guys, I am really excited to bring you this tour of a Tayana 48 because I really enjoyed this boat and I think it's a great liveaboard offshore cruiser. But real quick before we get to the tour, if you enjoy these boat tour videos and you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit that like button. It's completely free to subscribe and it really helps us out. So thank you in advance and without further ado, let's get to the tour. Alrighty guys, getting ready to step aboard. As you can see, this is a center cockpit vessel. Going aft, we're going to come back to the cockpit after we do the deck. As you guys can see, the side decks here, as well as the aft deck and the fore deck are all teak. We've got a life raft here on our right, on our port side. The center cockpit allows for this nice aft deck deck back here. I love this about center cockpits. We also have a dinghy on davits. Nice big opening hatch. That's going to go down into the aft cabin. Propane locker. There's the dinghy, and we also have a small sugar scooped transom with a swim platform and a swim ladder off the back. Checking out this other deck locker, got some storage. Looking forward. Got our main traveler for our main sheet. This is pretty neat. We've got an area for your fenders off the side right here, off the starboard side. There's that center cockpit. Looking up at the boom, we've got a furling main, in-mast furling. We've also got a frame for a bimini and a dodger here. Just no canvas right now. Looks like all the lines go into the cockpit, so very easy to single or shorthand. Going forward. Got a running back stay. Boom bang. Looking up the mast. Got a double spreader mast. This is cutter rigged. All sails furling, including the main. Looks like we got a whisker pull on the front of the mast. Nice stainless port lights. These teak decks are in really good shape. They've been recently replaced. And going forward. Got our furling staysail. Windless forward to that. And forward of the windless is going to be our furling headsail. Looking aft. Taking a closer look at the teak decks, as you can see they are in very good shape. No screws going into the decks, they are glued down. As you can see we have tracks for both the staysail and the headsail. That is a good feature. We also have a running backstay, so 
you can really get those sails trimmed right on this boat. And then there's our center cockpit. Going aft. Going to step into the center cockpit now. Nice big center cockpit. Looking aft at the helm station. With the Bimini and the Dodger, this would be a nice protected area. And here is the view from the helm station. Great view of everything that's going on with the boat right here. And all the lines go to the cockpit. So this would be a very easy boat to single or shorthand. And yeah, this would be a great place to spend a passage. I dig it. Here's the autopilot going down below. And we are now down in the main salon. So I'm going to give you guys a 360 of everything down here before we go into more details. And so far, very pretty boat. I'm very impressed. Everything looks to be so far in pretty good shape down here. Wood looks great. Upholstery looks great. Taking a look at the main settee. Got our mast right there. This is a keel stepped mast. Got some drawers below the salon table. And below the main settee, got a compressor. Some storage on this side. Storage in the back section as well. Got some storage up here and wood's just in great shape. And we're going to take a look at the galley now. Got a double sink. Microwave. Port lights. Galley style galley. Down here is where the engine's going to be. Got multiple access points to the engine. Got some kitchen drawers right here next to the gimbaled stove. Got an area for some plates. And there's our gimbaled range and oven with a cover so it gives you more counter space when not in use. And there's our freezer, top loading. And behind the freezer is going to be our fridge, front loading. And going aft. This back here is one of the major highlights of the boat. Very large aft cabin made possible by the center cockpit design. So not only do you get that nice aft deck, you also get a nice aft cabin as well. So for this size boat, I love center cockpits for this reason right here. Got a hanging locker on the port side. 
Got another locker on the starboard side. Some drawers. This is a great live aboard cabin. Even some under the bed storage. So nice island berth. Seating on both sides. This is just an awesome cabin in this size boat. Got a little stand up vanity forward of the berth. And then an ensuite head with a separate shower. So, what more could you ask for for a liveaboard boat of this size? Very nice. And then the shower. And backing out. Gonna go forward now. Back in the main salon. Turning aft and looking at the nav station. Got a little nav station kind of tucked away in the corner on the starboard side here. Not forward facing. No real views of the exterior of the boat from here. But you got everything in one comfy little area. So this is a comfy nav station for sure. It's kind of in its own little area on the boat. It's got a nice comfy chair. It's got everything. I need to navigate behind me and yeah I mean this would be a pretty good place to work on your laptop or navigate while you're on a passage the only thing I would add like the last boat we were on would be a camera you know a forward-facing camera for the boat that you could see in a display down here but other than that easy fix this is a pretty good nav station I'm gonna pull up some of the cabin sole to see what's down below looks like we got some tankage nice and low on the boat and more tankage. Going forward. We've got the forward cabin. So this is a great cabin as well. The aft cabin was nice. This is nice as well. Got some storage down below the Pullman berth. Turn into the starboard side. All of our clothes storage for this cabin is on the starboard side here. And you guys know I, I really like this setup when you have forward cabin with a Pullman berth. And then you guys will see pretty soon what's forward of this. and even more storage below this berth is actually going to be the generator for the boat so there's the gen set and going forward we have a forward head and you guys know I do love this setup. The Pullman berth has a forward cabin with a forward head. I think it just optimizes the space very well. And you've got tons of storage in this head. I mean, that's not something you typically say about heads, but there is a lot of storage in this head. Here's our bow locker. And in this forward head, you even have a small separate shower. So this is a really cool design. A lot of times you see these forward heads and there isn't a separate shower. They're wet heads, but not this boat. This boat has a forward head with a separate shower. I love it. 
Alright guys, I'm in the forward head aboard this Tayana and it's time for the full continuous blow decks walkthrough from bow to stern. Starting here in the forward head. Turn it aft. We've got the separate shower right there to my port side. Sink to my starboard. Going aft forward cabin now good size Pullman berth on the port side tons of storage this is definitely a boat that you can live aboard comfortably you can have guests aboard and your guests would be really comfortable going back to the main saloon Get our settee to our starboard and then our main settee to our port side. Nav station right there on the starboard side. Taking a closer look. Companionway stairs and companionway. Galley style galley. Engine compartment underneath that sink there. Going aft. And then finally the aft cabin. Forward to the aft cabin, got our ensuite head. Beautiful boat. So I've been wanting to get aboard a Tayana for a while now, and this boat certainly didn't disappoint. I think for the size range, the upper 40s cruising vessels, there's not much that I would change about it at all. I mean, it was in really good shape. You guys know I love center cockpits, you guys know I love large aft cabins, and you guys know I love the forward head and a forward cabin with the Pullman berth in it. So, I mean, this is a pretty close to perfect cruising vessel. Everything's in good shape. It's ready to go. It's a proven blue water cruiser. The only thing I would do is probably add some solar panels. And if I really want to nitpick about the design, the nav station isn't forward facing and you can't see anything from it essentially. But that can kind of be remedied if you were to put a forward facing camera on the mass and then have the LCD screen at the nav station. So if you're at the nav station, you can technically see outside from that. But I think that's nitpicking. I think this is a great cruising boat for a couple or a small family. If you're a cruising couple, you've got that entire forward section of the boat for your guests, which, you know, that's great accommodations for your guests. I don't think they would ever want to leave. <laughs> but if you're a small family, obviously that forward section could be for the kids and you could probably figure something out to put multiple berths up there. It's a good price as well. I think that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I mean, I love the design, I love the layout. It's a good looking boat, really good quality, proven offshore cruiser. And the person that buys this boat is gonna be really happy with it. So like all of our boat tours, the current asking price is gonna be in the description below along with the contact information for the broker in case you wanted to reach out if you're interested in purchasing this vessel. As always, guys, if you enjoyed this one, please leave a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell if you wanna know each and every time we drop a video. See you guys. I've got it right and I got it wrong. But I learned my